Hydrothermal Technique for LDH Preparation So guys, today we are going to prepare LDH using hydrothermal technique. This is the one of the most, I mean like the common technique used nowadays. So I'll do first. First we have to, I mean like we are going to prepare today biochar LDH. Okay. And instead of, I mean like in place of biochar, we are going to use green coffee biochar which has been prepared by pyro pyrolyzing technique or you can say by burning okay using a muffle furnace i have burned at 600 degrees c for one hour okay so i'm going to prepare biochar ldh so first of all what i have to do we have to weigh the required amount of salts so i'm going to make magnesium iron ldh okay so we need uh, magnesium nitrate salt and iron nitrate salts now what we have to do we have to add a butter paper and this is our magnesium nitrate pure salt and this is our nr nitrate so by simple calculation what we have to do okay so this is i mean like we are going to prepare 4 is to 1 okay magnesium nitrate so if you see mass here is 256 point okay 41 and then this is iron nitrate so we have to make a simple calculation so it will be uh, 0.4 is to 1 molar okay so in that case we have to calculate the mass so it will be 2.56 into 4 I'll, so I'll be adding the right required amount to the butter paper and transferring to the beaker okay and then for uh, the biochar to I mean like to get well dispersed or homogenized in the water we have to use an ultrasonicator so guys now I added around 50 ml of the water okay and now I'll shake it for around 10 to 15 minutes so that the salt is homogenized okay after that i will add i mean like the dispersed biochar okay here and then i will add sodium hydroxide okay for the co-precipitation now guys we are going to ultrasonicate this for uh, at least uh, for 20 minutes and at an amplitude of around 50 hertz okay a pulse time will be 5 seconds on off okay pulse on pulse off so now we will okay try to okay so that uh, this biochar is well dispersed in the water and we will transfer to the magnesium iron solution now guys after ultrasonication you can see this one so we will be slowly and slowly transferring this into the magnesium iron solution okay and then we will wait for around 5 to 10 minutes to mix it very well so there is some particles left so we will just transfer this using adding a distilled water sorry deionized water okay guys you can see here the pH around is now 1.81 so what we have to do any the solution of the pH pH of the assortment of mixture or solution is 1.84 so now what we will do I have transferred this one molar freshly prepared anyway solution by adding 40 gram of I mean like any OH okay high purity into the one liter of the deionized water okay that is thoroughly mixed and then I have transferred this to the, the I mean like the small cylinder here okay and then I will keep adding slowly you, know, you cannot add at one time I mean like if you need suppose 50 or 60 ml of the solution I mean like to raise the pH around 8 to 9 okay so that the co-precipitation starts to occur so you have to add slowly you cannot add I mean like uh, all together okay so you have to keep adding slowly so that you can see here now the pH is going little bit up okay and also the solution should be continuously stirred or continuously shaking using a bead okay so you have to add slowly okay so I am using here a micro pipette to add any solution and the strength of the solution I mean anyway which is around one molar so I'll keep adding okay so you can see here the pH is going up slowly and slowly 
so it has to go from 1.8 to around uh, 8.5 or 9 okay so you have to add slowly now guys you can see here within 15 to 20 minutes okay by drop by drop dropping of the i mean like adding uh, very i mean like slowly and slowly drop by drop uh, the sodium hydroxide one molar anyways it now the ph rose to around 8.7 so which is the required so it should be around 8.59 in some of the literature you can see 9 or 10 also but in my case i am just keeping it to around 9 so what i will do i'll add little more drop of anyways slowly see I'm adding slowly okay so you can see it's begun okay so I'll add more now after reaching 9 what I will do I'll transfer this to the Teflon reactor so it has almost reached 9 so we'll stop here and then we'll transfer this whole liquid into the Teflon reactor so now guys I'm transferring this to the whole autoclave reactor Okay. and also one thing to be noted you could have added instead of sodium hydroxide to raise the pH or to do the cold precipitation you can add ammonium hydroxide also and there are other reagents also available okay so now I will keep this inside the autoclave reactor which is here and this is a bigger size autoclave reactor after mounting the cap, we have to make sure that this is tightened up very well. Okay, now what we will do, we will carry this it in the preheated oven. Okay. So already the oven is around 180. Okay. This is a preheat oven. So we will leave our whole assortment or whole I mean like the mixture which is put inside the autoclave reactor for around 24 hours. So now guys, after 24 hours, we will take out our autoclave reactor. Okay. See, using these thermal gloves, I have kept it aside. This one is now, I mean, like going to cool. So what we will do? Okay, we will add some water, or what we can do? We will be adding this whole setup into the water bath. Okay. So I am adding this little water. You can see. cooling. It will cool. Okay. Slowly and slowly, it will cool down. So after a few hours, it will cool down. And we'll open and do the washing. So now, guys, we'll be transferring this. So we'll transfer this, I mean, like from the autoclave reactor, the LDH, biochar LDH to this and then now now we will wash so now guys we have already transferred the solution to this vial okay so now we will centrifuge for around five minutes okay. so i will change the time start now just started to uh, i mean like the separate okay the adsorbent from the solution so guys after separation it will look like this you can see here okay so this is clearly separated from like the water okay second while you can see this clearly so we will throw away this unreactor or you can say the liquid and then we will pour the solution again so we have to keep washing this around normally it takes around four to five washes in order to i mean like attain the neutral ph okay and also to remove the unreacted part or unreacted chemicals or unreacted substance okay and after that we have to dry this okay so I'll show you later on how it looks like after trying. So we'll be just washing this for now to four or five more washes. Okay, we'll do just four or five more washes. So guys, in the last step, we'll be washing this by adding high purity ethanol or acetone in order to remove, I mean like the impurities which are left over. Okay, so we'll add certain amount of ethanol. Okay, and then we will wash. After washing, we will transfer this for for drying okay at 70 degrees C so we have to make sure we have to dry at right temperature we cannot dry at higher temperatures because it will lead to the denaturing of the LDH that we have prepared okay so after washing we will transfer to the beaker 
and put in the oven okay now guys i have transferred that my ldh put ldh here in this small um, like jar then i will keep it for drying for around five to six or ten hours depending on the volume okay depending on the amount so i have set the temperature around 70 okay you can see here the temperature is set and this is the preheat oven so after drying we will we will crush okay grind and then sieve okay depending on the size on which we are looking for and then we will store in the air tight containers for i mean like other usage or other applications so this is our final product that we achieved after using hydrothermal reactor that was used for the i mean like the fabrication or synthesis of biochar ldh so this is our it looks like this okay this is green coffee magnesium iron 4 is to 1 sorry 3, 4 is to 1 ldh so this is i mean like biochar ldh okay after grinding after sieving or making fine powder it looks like this okay